Your client interaction is probably going to be you and a senior or you and a second year staff walkthroughs. You're going to be sitting in walkthroughs and this is mainly if you are coming in right before busy season starts. You're going to be doing more of the grunt work, like don't just sally. When I was going into auditing, I thought that I was going to be discovering fraud all the time, but y'all know. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Nicole if you are new here and I'm so happy you clicked on this video. On my channel I talk about all things career, faith, and lifestyle so if you're interested in that kind of content make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I thought I would give you guys an insight as to what exactly an auditor does. I know I've shared bits and pieces of my work and what I'm doing as I was allowed to because obviously I have client confidentiality and work confidentiality that I can't share every single thing. I thought I would give you guys an overview of what an auditor does and what to expect as an audit like staff mainly because um, a lot of you guys who follow me are new to the accounting world or new into the auditing space so this is the video for you or if you just want to learn more about what an auditor in public accounting does then keep on watching why are you not following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me on instagram because on instagram i do give you guys different like career and lifestyle and fashion updates as well and you guys see me in more real time on the gram in audit you have intern staff senior manager senior manager partner director i am focusing on kind of the intern staff aspect An auditor's role is to review a client's financial statements and different documentations that make up their financials in order to provide an opinion pretty much um like letting investors and also the government know the auditors believe that there is no fraud or there is no error going on in the client's accounting or processes and such. So as a intern or a staff accountant, you're going to be doing more of the grunt work, like it's not always the funnest thing. When I was going into auditing, I thought that I was going to be discovering fraud all the time, but y'all know. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not what you're gonna be doing. A lot of what you're doing is doing test work, when you're when you're a staff you don't always start during the planning phase you're, you're usually starting out already like in the testing phase so you're going to be assigned different sections to test and different things to test per the income statement and the balance sheet you're going to be working on more like lower risk areas you're not going to be doing a lot of the like high high level or in-depth like risk assessments you're pretty much doing like a lot of repetitive types of testing so a lot of what you're going to be doing is probably like testing like cash such as like cash on hand doing bank reconciliations or confirming the, the bank reconciliations um you're going to be on confirmation.com a lot be ready for that you're probably going to be working on accounts receivable testing you're going to be testing invoices and running samples to see how long did it take for the client to be paid um what is their procedures and protocol for getting money and and tying all of that back to the trial balance you're probably going to be doing some accounts payable uh testing and then also looking into fixed asset like a lot of property plant and equipment testing testing the useful life of the different assets that they have and obviously you are going to be under the guidance of like your senior and your manager and of course your partner, but you're mainly gonna be working with your seniors and and maybe a second year staff who's going to be giving you work and different things to do. Something else that you're going to have to be doing as a staff and even sometimes as an intern is doing a lot of roll forwards. Yes, roll forwards, guys. So doing roll forwards, year after year, you have work papers that you're for a client, you have work papers. And these work papers, each year they are improved upon for testing. Sometimes the testing is repetitive and what you're mainly doing in the roll forwards is updating the paperwork pretty much just for the date. And you're adding in any other, any new test steps or any new procedures that, um, that have been added for the year so documenting that so a lot of it is going to be no is learning how to do roll forwards looking at what was done last year and don't just sally 
which means same as last year. Don't just sally it, follow the same exact test procedures. This is where like your your skill sets are gonna come into play where you're gonna to wanna to be analyzing, like looking at, okay, what was done last year? Why was it done this way? And then looking at it from this year's perspective, what are some things that could have been done differently or how can you improve upon the process? How can you improve upon the process to make it better with your testing? And you're gonna be documenting that as well. Um, roll forwards aren't always fun, but that's your task. You're gonna to have to do it. And I think it really helps you learn the work and learn the client. So something that I used to do prior, like I would check my client assignments in a couple of weeks or a couple of days prior to me going on a new client, I would be added to the client's audit file. Um, and so what I would do is I will go to last to the prior year's audit file and look at all the work that was done, try to follow the test steps, go into the folder to see everything that the client did provide as support and just try to follow it step by step as how the document is written to make sure that I'm understanding because if it's something that I'm going to be doing, I wanna make sure that I have at least a general understanding of it. And then what I would do is write down some questions of steps that I was confused on so that way when I would start on the client, I could have the questions ready to go for the second, for the staff who did it the year before or for the senior it's usually the senior or the second year staff who's already done it so I can just ask them questions as to why was this done this way and then I'm ready to go when it's time for me to do test something else that you're going to learn or be doing as a staff accountant is learning how to interact with the client yes you are going to be interacting with the client for the most part and it also depends on your team your client interaction is probably going to be you and a senior or you and a second year staff who's already built a relationship with the client, just so that way you're starting to get comfortable being in front of the client. You're gonna start listening to the kind of questions that are being asked. And also it's gonna give you an opportunity to ask questions as, as you're doing testing. And if you're confused on something or if you're like, oh, the client didn't give us this, you can always go to the client and ask them or via email or in person, phone call, whatever it may be. And then another thing with that is walkthroughs. You're going to be sitting in walkthroughs and this is mainly if you are coming in right before busy season starts. And pretty much walkthroughs are you sitting down, talking to the client, going over their, their policies and going over their procedures and documenting it to see if anything has changed. Obviously, if it's a brand new client, your your documentation is starting from scratch. But if it's a client that you that your firm has been auditing for some time, then you're just taking the prior year's documents and improving upon them, adding anything that needs to be added. Usually, there's a couple of steps added and it's mainly changing the name of people. So like if there was a staffing change, you would want to update that. And if there's a new procedure put in place by the client, you would want to update that as well. But walkthroughs also really help you, helps you with your public speaking in a sense and makes the client also get to know you. So that way you're building that relationship. So if you are on a client site, they see you in the hallway, they will recognize who you are and that they will say hi to you and it will be less intimate. Also make sure you are going ahead and looking at your review comments. They will, it's usually the second year staff if they're reviewing your work or the senior will be leaving you review comments. So make sure you guys are looking at your review comments. I would say try to take a look at it daily. Uh, it helps then letting your review comments pile up. Look at your review comments. If you're lost, if you're not sure what the review comment means, go ahead and schedule a meeting with that person or reach out to that person and ask for them to clarify for you. Clear out those review comments comments and then sometimes a partner or, or manager will also leave your review comments so make sure you guys are checking those out and then usually at the end of an audit um, your role is going to be to tie out the 10k to whatever final financials that are given to you and that you guys have it's kind of tedious but it's not bad because it teaches you how to truly analyze a 10k you i remember when i did it we had like the, the really long rulers and we will go line by line on paper guys on paper doing that um and then just adding making sure like there's tick marks making sure that everything is footed correctly um, and footage just means making sure that things are calculated and tying out correctly. So that is pretty much what you're going to be doing when you're coming on as an auditor or as a first, as an intern first year. Your first two years is really the time for you to learn um, 
how engagements work, how the audit cycle and the audit process works. You're learning the client and you're really just building up your confidence in your work skills, learning what there is to learn, doing the testing, um, and kind of just filling in the gaps wherever it needs to be filled. So I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you've gotten this far. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram so that we can be friends over there. And I will see you in my next video.